of Pointy Nerdikins. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Shokugeki no Soma chapter 226. And I should have had this uh, video up um, an hour ago, but I'm sorry I over fucking slept. I somehow fell asleep and I overslept. Usually I pull all nighters uh, on a ma new manga chapter now. I don't know what the fuck happened. Anyway, uh, last chapter of Shokugeki no Soma, we learned the way of the food Bushido, which was pretty cool. A anyways, let's get to this chapter and see what happens. I'm hoping we get the taste test this chapter. I want to see the food, because this will be a good way to start my day. Uh, now, feast to the uh, heart's desire. <gasps> we get to see the sushi! Oh my god, this is going to make, make me want sushi bad. This is the work of the Elite 10's uh, best sushi sh uh, chef. The ultimate 10 piece tuna sushi se uh, set, glittering radiantly as if they were jewels themselves. Look at that sushi! Oh my fucking god, that looks so good! It, um, it is said that because the geisha have to take um, care not to ruin their makeup while eating, the idea and creation of miniature sushi dishes came about, and that, and that is why you find it very common in Kyoto. Miniature ruby sushi. Oh, that looks so good. I would. I don't like tuna though. I would want salmon. I want that sushi, but with salmon. Brilliant uh, beauty as brilliant as a glittering jewel. Oh, it looks like um um Mimasaka Subaru is finished as well. Wow, he's copied perfectly. It looks exactly the same as. No, wait, look. You're right. Ah, you're right. The one piece is different. We ain't talking about the treasure here. Saito Senpai said doesn't include this one. Gunka um. Gunkan Maki Sushi? The single piece that will decide the victor? Oh man, this looks so good. Oh man, I am fucking hungry. Never read, I, like, I keep telling myself, never read food manga on an empty stomach and I'm fucking doing it. But this time I have an excuse. I have no food in my house, so I'm just gonna deal with it. Um, lined up and ready to go is what this chapter is called. So that's the set that Mima, Mimasaka has come up with. Um, taste will be the deciding factor then. Can his dish really surpass his opponents? Shut the hell up! <laughs> you guys have um, been shutting your mouths off saying all these cocky things. You think uh, this is not this, this is not our fault? Fucking A! Like what kind of brainwashing have you been doing? Uh, Central like shit. You think you guys can uh, match up to Saito Senpai? Well, think again. Quit banging on the bars. My ears are ringing. Um, the techniques of... I'm dying is because I literally just woke up less than, t like, less than, uh, or no, a little over ten minutes ago. Sorry. The techniques of sushi chefs are the epitome of divinity. We even learned that in class. Choosing the topping, preparing the vinegared rice, and uh, the technique in molding the sushi to top it off, uh, they have to bring out the individual flavor of each ingredient. It's a pass so rugged that even a um, uh, day's worth of walking won't get you even a glimpse of the starting line. So there was, so there's n no way a dumb copycat like you could ever make delicious sushi. How about you try a taste then? Excuse me? Will three pieces be all right? If you're confident that you'll never judge my sushi to be delicious, then I dare you to! Oh! We Yeah! Oh my god, my, I, my man would do the same thing. My boyfriend would do the same thing. <laughs> he, would, he would challenge her like this. He, he does this to me a lot. Um, feast to thy heart's desire. Feast to thy heart's desire. He does this to me a lot. Feast to thy heart's desire. Oh god, that sushi looks really good. Look how beautiful that is. What? This medium grade fatty tuna is so rich. Just by quickly brushing the sushi sushi over with uh, um, nikiri, and by the way, nikiri is the boiling of things like soy sauce, mirin, and sake to reduce their alcohol content. Um, the um I've never had that before. I'm gonna try that. Uh, the umami flavor um, comes bursting forth. The lean tuna was marinated in co um, kombu. Now the umami of both uh, tuna are mixing together in my mouth. He's perfectly drawn out um, and capitalized on the deliciousness of each type of tuna for each piece. The intense fat of the collarbone uh, fatty tuna is bound, bound by the refresh, refreshing vinegar, um, vinegared rice, making it uh, the finishing touch, uh, gently wrapping its flavors around the others. And above all else, 
This sushi rice. It's this isn't your everyday vinegar sushi rice. Right, you are what I um right you are. Uh what I used was um um Ikazu. It's typical um it's typical to use vinegar fermented from a blend of rice, corn, and flour, and it's like the Akazu is, is but um and the like, but Akazu is made from sake uh leaves left to uh ferment for um an extended period. Although it's a traditional um condiment that was born and became prevalent from so called um Edome sushi, due to the fact that it takes five to six years to make these um these days as a high-grade vinegar. Isn't that right, senpai? Indeed it is. I see. More so uh, than normal vinegar, Akazu has less sugar content, resulting in a, a more me uh, mellow richness. Thanks to that, the sushi rice does not harden, um, maintaining a soft, fluffy finish. But in exchange, it stands to reason that even more delicate adjustments are required in order to achieve harmony with the fish and sharpness in the flavor. Oh my god, I am tired! <laughs> Um, does Mimasaka's, uh, copy truly cross into such precise territory? Damn it, I can't believe this. This is just, god damn it, I've eaten, eaten the upper elite ten members cooking before at school festivals and during class, and the sensation is on the same level as that of tasting one of their dishes. Yay! That stalker bastard, he's completely different before, from before. <laughs> stalker bastard. Oh my god. That's, but that's what Mimasaka is. He is a fucking creepy ass stalker bastard. Um, within the, um, his snake uh, like meticulousness, you can feel his, sh his passion shining brightly like a ruby. Ah, ah my body, it's so hot! It's burning up! Even though up until now I was able, I was somehow able to avoid having a reaction. No, no, it's no use. I can't be a bride after this. No, <laughs> I can't be a bride after this. Oh man. I hope that, like, I was kind of hoping Bifasaka and Sushi was going to undo the brainwashing, but I honestly uh, doubt that. Like, I'm very curious how it's going to, here we go. The choice was a huge success. Amazing. In fact, during the autumn elections, he was menacing and downright creepy, but now it feels like he's incredibly reliable. So basically, our victory or defeat hinges entirely upon that one piece. Now, now, uh, we can't afford any more delays, uh, Miss Cute MC. God, God, not listening. She's not listening at all. She's just like, God, how could it be that the sushi was so good? Um, it's imperative to taste the sushi while it's still fresh, so let us commence the tasting immediately. Yay! Wait just a minute! I'd like you to taste my dish while it's still piping hot, if you don't mind. Right before... All the chefs of dishes have been lined up and ready for uh, and ready for tasting before the time limit expires. Right before the time limit expires. Yes, we are getting all of them. Oh my God, it's gonna be one. Oh, uh, it's not gonna be in this chapter though. Oh man, ha! Huh? Uh, Rino Senpai coming through. What the? The, the meat is completely buried in uh, the peppers are more accurate or more accurately. I can't see anything but peppers. What the hell happened to the alligator meat? That's a good question. On the other hand, because she, uh, Shima Senpai's um, African ramen doesn't look very red at all. What became of the theme ingredient, the peppers? And what the hell is African ramen anyway? I want to know what the hell African ramen is, is anyway. Whoa, look. What a juicy and soft looking pork shoulder roast. It looks kind of like sweet and sour pork thanks to the black vinegar. Um, oh, uh, but that presentation, it's beautiful. Um, it's beauty rivals high class Italian or French cuisine. The tea uh, themes seemed incredibly hard to work with for Kuga uh, to uh, Turinori, giving his background in um, uh, Sichuan cuisine. So what sort of flavor was he able to create? What? So Kazusa, what the? So Kazusa, what the hell is that? Four types of sherbet ice cream, but wait, they're steaming. The first seed of the Elite Ten. The tasting hasn't even started yet, but everyone's already been taking, uh, taken aback by his dish. No shit. Hmm, they're all rushing in at once, are they? Hick all right, in that case, we'll conduct all the si tasting of all six dishes at once. All of them? At once? Is that going to be all right? Won't the flavors get all mixed up? Anne is more, capable, more than capable of such a feat. And of course, the same goes for us. For we are the gatekeepers of the fine cuisine, uh, the uh, WGO. We will begin our deliberation. At long last, it will be decided. The second mouth chefs will walk which uh, 
or the second bout, uh, which chefs will walk away with the victory? The confrontation is next issue. The co um, uh, the confrontation is high. Uh, next issue, the conclusion of the battle. I like that we're getting this. I like that all the dishes are being served at once. Um, this is going to be interesting. It really is. And I, I, I got a feeling how they're going to do the next few chapters. Like, I got a feeling we're, like... I, I don't know. I don't think the next six chapters are going to take, like, it's going to be one dish per chapter. I got a feeling it's going to take three chapters, and it's going to be, uh, um, each chapter has a bout. Uh, or it has a match of the second bout. Uh, that's what I think. Anyway, next chapter, make sure you have, make sure you have a full stomach, because we're going to be all, our stomachs are going to be all growling. Anyway, who's do you think is going to be first? Do you think it's going to be the sushi first? Do you think it's going to be Rindal and Mikashima's um, uh, dishes? Or do you think it's going to be Tsukasa and uh, Kuga's dishes? And which dish looks the best to you? And who do you think is going to win? I honestly don't know. This is the first time I can't predict victory. Like, I don't know who's going to win and who's going to lose. This will be interesting. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you um, love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, there's a few ways you can uh, uh, do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. PayPal, Patreon, um, per or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel, friend me on PlayStation Network, all that in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!